So once again, we're looking at an equation that we want to put in quadratic form, and it might not be obvious how to do that. So we want to look at what's the square root of the, the variables, the variable in the first term, or what is the degree of the variable in the second term? Uh, so in this case, it would be u equals x to the negative 1. Uh, that's the, the degree of the middle term. That's also when we square it, u squared will equal x to the negative 2. So then we can substitute into the equation and get a quadratic. So this gives us 8u squared minus 10u plus 3 equals 0. It might not be obvious right off the bat that this will factor, but we can, when we have a, a leading coefficient and a constant, that it's not too complicated to look at the individual factors. By trial and error, we would easily figure out that this will factor to 2u minus 1 times u minus 3 equals 0, or 4u, sorry, 4u minus 3 equals 0. Uh, if you multiply that back through, you'll see that it's 8u squared minus 10u plus 3 equals 0. So 2u minus 1 equals 0, or 4u minus 3 equals 0. So 2u equals 1, adding 1 to both sides, or 4u equals 3 adding 3 to both sides, so u equals 1 half, or u equals 3 fourths. And then we'll back substitute x to the negative 1 equals 1 half, or x to the negative 1 equals 3 fourths. Well, x to the negative 1 just means 1 over x. Uh, so essentially, all we need to do is flip both sides. And that will give us x equals 2 or x equals 4 thirds. Now, as usual, we'll check our solutions by substituting back into the original equations. Uh, in this case, we'll start with the smaller of the two, x equals 4 thirds, 1 and 1 third. So with x equals 4 thirds, we have 8 times 4 thirds to the negative 2 minus 10 times 4 thirds to the negative 1 plus 3 equals 0. Does it equal 0? That's what the question mark is for. So with 4 thirds to the negative 2, that's the same thing as 3 fourths squared. So that's going to be 8 times 9 sixteenths. Uh, you could look at it as 1 over 4 thirds squared, or you could just flip it and square it. Minus 10 times 3 fourths plus 3, does that equal 0? Well, 3 fourths squared, that's 8 times 9 sixteenths minus 10 times 3 fourths, that's going to simplify uh, just a little bit, to negative 15 halves. And then we'll go ahead and make the three six halves as well because uh, we already have that half in the middle. And 8 and 16, that will cancel the 8, so that's 9 over 2 minus 15 over 2 plus 6 over 2. Does that equal 0? Well, 9 minus 15 is negative 6, plus 6 is 0 halves. So 0 does equal 0, and that solution checks. So what about x equals 2? This one will be a, a little bit simpler. 8 times 2 to the negative 2 minus 10 times 2 to the negative 1 
plus 3, does that equal 0? So 8 times 2 to the negative 2, that's 1 over 2 squared, so that's going to be 8 times 1 fourth. Minus 10 times 1 half, 2 to the negative 1. Plus 3, does that equal 0? 8 times 1 fourth is just 2. 10 times 1 half is just 5. Plus 3, does that equal 0? Well, 2 minus 5 is negative 3. Plus 3 does equal 0, so that solution does check. 0 equals 0. Uh, so that does tell us that our solutions are correct. And when 8x to the negative 2 minus 10x to the negative 1 plus 3 equals 0, x equals 2, or x equals 4 thirds.